What is up everybody? The holidays can be a very stressful time for you, especially if you're working on losing weight due to many get togethers and all the temptations that tag along with them. And if you were to choose to give in to these temptations, it could have you feeling as if all the progress you've made over the past couple of months has gone down the drain. But thankfully it doesn't have to be that way where I'm gonna show you how you can still enjoy all the foods that you love during the holidays and still be able to make weight loss progress. The first thing that you got to realize is that one day out of 365 days is not going to wipe off all your progress off the map, especially if you choose to eat really good on Thanksgiving. In some case scenarios, it can actually be quite beneficial. If you have been following your diet perfectly, never going over your calorie intake or macro intake, there's this thing called a refeed, not a cheat meal. That shows pretty promising results. You see, when you're constantly in a calorie deficit, your body likes to throttle down a little bit and starts to waste away some muscle mass and reduce your metabolism, which eventually ends up making it harder to keep on losing weight. Now, my professor from USF not too long ago conducted a study that took a look between a continuous diet group that consumed 25% less calories from their typical consumption over a course of seven weeks and compared this to a refeed group that had the same calorie deficit of 25% for the duration of the seven weeks, but structured the diet in the way that it was 35% of a reduction on Monday through Friday. But then when Saturday and Sunday came around, it was at 100% of the regular consumption. Both groups trained four days a week for the duration of the study. And by the end of it, both groups lost the same amount of weight, but the refeed group lost less muscle mass and had a less of a reduction in their metabolic rate compared to the continuous group. Now, this was just one study, but there are similar results found in other studies that show taking diet breaks results in very similar effects of preserving lean muscle mass and maintaining metabolic rates while still losing fat. And within those studies, they actually take extended weeks off from their calorie deficit diet, but then get right back on track after they come off of them. Now, I don't wanna to go too far down the rabbit hole of going over scientific studies, but some other simple strategies that you could implement on Thanksgiving to help keep your cool is by one, making sure that you consume protein first, like turkey, before any carbs like mashed potatoes or your bread rolls. Second, don't drink any water while you are eating. And third, slow down and take in every bite that you are eating rather than already having your next fork loaded up and ready to shove her in. By doing these three things, you allow your digestive system to give you better signals of satiety, which is helping you feel fuller and satisfied. Where on the opposite end, when you scarf down food really quickly, you still end up feeling hungry, which in some cases you end up eating more food. And then in about 20 minutes later, you get that feeling of, oh no, what have I done? So instead of stressing over the holidays with what you're going to eat, how you're going to plan, you could start to implement some of these tips I gave today or work on diet breaks or refeeds where you could take it easy throughout the week on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday before Thanksgiving, eat a little bit less calories, and then on Thursday, enjoy yourself a little bit more. Now, you know you best where for some people, this may be too hard to wrap your head around or implement and that's okay. But for others, this could come in handy, especially if you're someone who's an extremely disciplined person, but they also like to have their cake and eat it too. So that's all I got for you today. And if you haven't done so yet, please click that like button and also that subscribe button. And if you could, you could also click that little bell icon right next to it too. So that way you'll get notified every time I release a new video. And I hope that you guys learned something new from today. And please let me know down in the comments section if you're going to work on implementing refeeds or any sort of diet breaks into your routine or just start to eat a little bit less the days before Thanksgiving and then enjoy yourself on Thanksgiving. So whatever works for you, great. Also, I'm currently down to 171 this week as my weekly average where last week I was 172. So just as I like it, nice and slow, where if you're currently clueless with what I'm talking about, I'll link my video that I've made last week on my journey so far and what I'm currently doing, which is a So if you're interested in learning more about that, you can click in the video where that's all I got for you guys today. So in the meantime, enjoy your Thanksgiving where I'll probably post another video before then. But yeah, that's all I got. So peace.